Welcome back to the Noon Hour Holiday Special. We're with Paul Brandt. Thanks for coming in, Paul. Uh, thank you very much for having me here. So you got the brand new Christmas album, your first Christmas album, I believe, eh? Uh, shall I play for you? Talk a little bit about making this album. You know, as soon as I, um, as soon as I got to Nashville and, and started talking to the folks down there at the record company about um, doing this this whole thing, I, I said I want to do a Christmas album at some time, and um, it just worked out on the schedule that this was the year that we got to do it. Uh, we got it in January and February, and uh, it was great. You know, a lot of a lot of memories of when I was growing up. Me and uh, my parents used to to go out and, and we'd sing Christmas carols and, and mm -hmm. do that kind of stuff, and so I. I put a few of those traditional songs on here. I wrote a couple of them, and, and uh, I'm real happy with the way it turned out. I think there's something on there for everybody. Talk about writing a, a Christmas song. It's, it's, a it's wild. It, it uh, is definitely different. It was, it was really exciting to get a chance to sort of branch off in, in that direction just creatively. Um, but uh, you sort of think of all the things that happen around Christmas time, and, and uh, I found myself just really getting into the Christmas spirit while I was writing these, these songs. What are, the, what are some of the things that, that you remember the most about Christmas growing up? Um, I remember, um, you know, like, like I already said, you know, going out and, and caroling, uh, going over to, to Grandma and Grandpa's place early in the morning. My grandfather was probably one of the grumpiest people you ever wanted to meet in the, in the entire world. You know, he, That's uh, a grandpa, right? Yeah, I think it is. You know, you know he, if you had a sore toe, he'd definitely be the one to step on it. You know, he's just that kind of a guy that would kind of get under your skin sometimes. But he really had a heart of gold, and, and I remember... Um, Every every Christmas we'd be at the place about I guess about 7:30 to open gifts up, and he would have been up already for a couple of hours just waiting for us, and, and he'd always yell at us to hurry up. We had to take the mandarin orange out of the bottom of the stocking before we were allowed to open any of our presents, so at least we got breakfast, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, and uh, of course, yeah, hurry up. That's all your basic food. Groups. Exactly, yeah. And, and so he'd be yelling at us to hurry up and eat the orange so we could open the gifts. And I think he was the biggest kid during that time of year. And, and it's kind of neat, you know. Christmas sort of brings out the kid in all of us. And what do you do these days for Christmas? You're married now. Yeah, uh, my wife and I usually try and make it back up to Calgary, where where I'm from and where both of our families are, and and, uh, and just spend some time with them. Uh, Christmas has always been about family and, and uh, just getting together and having a good time for us. What do you remember getting the most when you were a kid? The toy. What was the best? Toy? Well, I had one that I, I just loved. Um, when I was growing up, I I, I loved hockey. I, I wasn't. Um, I was good at skating, but I couldn't stop. That was a bit of a problem. Yeah, so, I yeah, stopped, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, so we played a lot of street hockey, and I remember one Christmas coming down, and, and right in front of the tree was a, um, a, a hockey goal, a street hockey goal. And, and so me and my dad set that up, and I spent the rest of the day outside um, playing with my friends, playing hockey out on the street on Christmas Day. And, and I, that's one of my coolest, coolest Christmas memories. Uh, can we get a zoom in on the album? This is Paul Bryant's Christmas album. Shall I play for you? You can buy this in stores now and, and cherish it for many Christmases to come. I hope so. Have you got time to do a song? I'd love to. And which song are you going to uh, do? This is one of the ones that I wrote. Um, it's uh, it's just a song about all of the things that we kind of go through at Christmas time and sometimes forget about the, the true meaning of it. Um, it's called The Star is Born. Fantastic. <laughs> into a not so perfect year it lasted its year hustle bustle to and fro from store to store to get one more whatever is in style this year on the marquee sign at five and nine the latest movie shows and it starts to snow Children look into the sky to see if reindeer really fly. Who knows? But when it comes down to this season, above it all, there's still a reason to just look up. A star is born tonight. Sacred light shines all around 
and joy resounds. In manger, hey, the baby Jesus came to seek and save the lost until they're found. Peace on earth, a new beginning. He's the gift that keeps on giving to all of us a star is born. Anthems ringing, glory to the King, a star is born It dates back to 1897. Thanks to Fraser Tuff from 1150 Kicks for taking time out to visit with Paul. Fraser's going to be back later in the hour. And our warmest thanks to Paul Brandt. He's truly one of the classiest acts in country music today. Now we turn our attention to the local music scene. We'd like to welcome four young women to CKX Noon Hour. That's Mindy, Carla, Deanne, and Jana, the Kitchen Women. 